Hello and thanks for staying with us. The Nigerian Customs Board has announced the promotion of four Deputy Controller General of Customs and also 12 Assistant Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service, plus a total of 2,707 officers promoted to the next rank. On Customs Reports, Controller General of Customs speaks on happenings around the Nigerian Customs Service, plus more report. I am Egeseme Edinye. Stay tuned. The Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service has continued to implement measures in line with customs laws. He told members of the House of Assembly in Abuja that customs will continue to promote the policy on good trade and stop smuggling of consignment into Nigeria. According to him, the management will make sure that the revenue will continue to rise with good government policies. Why are we having problem meeting our target? And despite the fact that the National Assembly has uh, put in everything that is necessary to get us moving and collecting the targeted revenue. Mr. Chairman, let me start by saying, unlike my brother in the NNPC, the job of customs is unpredictable. We rely on the market forces that drives the import of items into Nigeria. And as of today, Mr. Chairman, the bulk of our revenue comes from import. In most climes where the customs collect revenue, they rely mostly on excise. And that means the production within the country. Today in Nigeria, as you know very well, Mr. Chairman, the only excise we are authorized to collect is on tobacco and alcoholic beverages. All other industries that produces in Nigeria do not pay excise. And therefore, we narrowed ourselves to that unpredictable ground where we don't have any control as regards the influx of import. And therefore, we are therefore vulnerable to the fact that we can only act with what has been imported. And 20 20, 2021, we are in fact grateful to God that in 2020, despite the uh, COVID-19, we realized an upgrade with regards to the revenue. And as then, we were able to garner total collection of about 1.5 trillion. And as of today, Mr. Chairman, in the, last six, in the first six months of this year 2021, we were able to make 1.02 trillion. So it then means that we are realizing steady growth in terms of total collection of our revenue. And it is our belief, Mr. Chairman, that if the trajectory continues at this level, then the chances are that we will be collecting at the end of the year an amount to about two trillion or two trillion plus. That is attributed to the fact that COVID, as COVID is subsiding, the market is opening, people are importing. But we do not, and I want to say this, looking far to the future, the issue of import should not be the basis of our revenue collection. We must encourage our own production within the country and therefore expand our excise base. Today we have sung this song, 
several times that we are supposed to be collecting excise on carbonated <coughs> drinks. The Continental General of Nigerian Customs Service has also said that the customs management will always follow the rules and regulation in customs before anybody is promoted to the next rank. He made a declaration in Abuja when he was decorating some newly promoted officers in Abuja. He asked them to continue to promote the image of Nigerian Customs Service and help generate more revenue as well as stop smuggling across all border stations in the country. Some of the officers were decorated with their new ranks. The Customs Public Relations Officer was also promoted to a full rank of a controller of customs. Transparency, honesty is a virtue 
whatever you do in life, be sure that you can explain it. Be sure that you can defend it. Be sure that whoever approaches you, you'll be able to present it the way it is. That way, your conscience will be clear. You will not have high blood pressure. And never would you miss your sleep. For the five or six years I've been here, there's no day I put my head on the pillow and begin to think of anything. Because I purge everything before I get to bed. Because I don't do anything under the table. So my lessons that I'm passing across here to all our officers, especially those of you who have been promoted, you are now going to be elevated to higher offices. I want you to consider this an honor. I want you to consider this as a privilege. And most importantly, I want you to consider your upliftment as an act of God. And the only way you can thank God, because he's not going to come and you take a plate of uh, Eba and give it to him, or you are not going to give him a kick. The only way you can show your appreciation to Almighty God is by first and foremost going back to him in prayers, in your deeds, in making sure that you sanctify your ways of life. That is the only way you can say thank you to the Almighty. He does not need anything more than that from you. You are watching the program, Customs Report. The Assistant Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service, is charge of Zone A, has continued to preach to members of the public to continue to pay the custom duty to government. She and her entourage visited her customs command where she was welcomed by the area controller. to collect at 7.8 billion in one month. It's 78, 78 some months ago, now it's 87, it's 7.8. So I just told your CAC by December, we are expecting 150 billion. And I know it's doable. It's doable. The CAC did not achieve all this by himself. Yes. If I were the corporation and the crop of officers I can see here, thank you, I must say thank you. In the year 2020, worthy of not, is the collection of the month of August 2021, which stood at 87.8 billion. <laughs> this remarkable feat is the first of its kind in the history of the Black Ship Command of the Nigerian Customs Service. In the area of anti-smuggling operation, the command seizure make about 56 containers of virus items. Captagon field is a controlled substance regarded as one of the most dangerous stimulant being used by insurgent and terrorist groups in the Middle East and other war torn countries. It is pertinent to note that this, the suspect in connection with this importation was arrested and is undergoing interrogation to, to reveal the cronies connected with this illicit threat. The drug and the arrested suspect have been handed over to the NDLE for self-custody, further analysis, extended street value, interrogation, and possible prosecution. Accordingly, the command has launched a full-scale investigation with a view of fishing out people involved in this kind of illicit importation. 
With e-customs, we have about 70 scanners. And you know, with e-customs, it's end-to-end -end automation. We are trying to eliminate person-to-person -person contacts. We are going to have our marine boats deployed. We have about 300 tra um, trainer, trainees here yeah, for the marine part of customs. All our points are going to be strengthened. We're going to have the automatic tracking system, automated tracking system. Um, so we need to preach e-customs. I'm a preacher of e-customs anytime any day because I can see the many benefits to customs. Fiscal and monetary policies of government in line with import guidelines and documentation requirement and in line with WCO self framework of standard respectively. In the meantime, we are ensuring the continuity of value supply chain by safeguarding the health and well-being of officers and men, as well as other stakeholders against the Delta strain of COVID-19 virus. In the area of revenue generation for the period under review, January 1st to 9th, September 2021, the command generated a total of 320.96 billion naira. I'm just coming when I saw um, the revenue profile of last month, August, and I saw 21 billion. I said, wow. Because um, when we were in, I was in PTML at a point in my career, and we were doing 10 billion, and I was thinking I was doing so well. And I asked our controller, who is now getting 21? So you, because the CAC is here, you are the foot soldiers, you are the one that drive the revenue. So I must commend the ACs and this is you are doing well. And PTML is a model port. PTML is one of the ports you can do your examination and carry your container without any else. So same thing. You, you can, yeah, carry your cars, you can do it in six hours. So it's like a one stop shop. When they want to do their model, anything, they come to PTL because you know we are the best. Proper examination, inspection has to be properly imputed. I know your controller is an AP, was an APM, so he knows how to drive you to make sure your inspection acts. You can use your inspection acts to close the alerts. This is revenue, am I right? Yes. Yes. If you're examining and you're sure of what you're doing, you do the inspection act properly. So anybody that even profiling, once they see you, they will know that this officer knows what he's doing. So your inspection act, don't worry over the inspection act, please. You tend to make a lot of mistakes and open yourself to a lot of backlash after the, when you're, when you're being profiled. And people that sit on the system and, you know, look at what you are doing in Abuja. So please make sure your inspection act are properly imputed. In the area of uh, revenue generation, we have worked assiduously and during the first half of the year, the command generated a revenue of one and four billion three hundred and thirty five million one and ninety four thousand three hundred fifty three naira only during the first half of the year. Also, during the, two, uh, the first two months of the second uh, half of the year, the command has generated the sum of forty one billion three hundred sixty seven million. 6,411 uh, 6, naira only. The command has generated 145,702,850,000 billion million naira. And this has given us an improvement of 25 billion naira over the same period of last year, 2020. The Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service as one smugglers to stop smuggling in pangolin into the country. He sounded the warning in Lagos when pangolin worth over 1.7 billion naira was intercepted by CG strike force in Lagos. The CG of customs was represented by the newly promoted customs Piero Joseph Atta, who was recently elevated to the rank of a full controller. Even though this criminality is not essentially a Nigerian thing, Sadly, some foreigners with active connivance of few Nigerians are bent on using our dear country as a transit route for illegal wildlife trade. You will recall that Nigerian Customs Service, acting on credible intelligence provided by our international partners, announced wildlife seizure worth over 12 
I mean, over 22 billion with arrested suspects currently facing prosecution. In the course of further investigation to arrest other members of the criminal gang, we received another credible intelligence from same international partner, Wildlife Justice Commission, and swiftly deployed our intelligence operatives with a strike force as a SWAT team trade on wildlife. We remain committed to the quarterly meeting with the embassies of USA, UK, and Germany. And we welcome on board other international organizations that are joining the fray. We commend Wildlife Justice Commission for their continuous strong commitment to this cause through provision of credible and actionable intelligence, including technical aids. Instead, I've already been charged to court. And at every court appearance, we ensure that journalists are part of the process. The whole idea is to enable the public know from the beginning to the end. On each, each time there was court appearances, we made sure that journalists were invited and they followed to the court to keep the public abreast of what is happening. And that have been reading from pages of papers uh, on two occasions that they have made uh, court appearances. The Nigerian Customs Service Oyo Anoshu Command has impounded 10,000 liters of premium motor spirits along the nation's borderline. The customs controller said the customs will continue to seize any contraband items for smugglers. The Oyo Anoshu Command has smashed a syndicate that specialized in smuggling petroleum products through the unapproved route. The customs area controller said that its men will continue to monitor and seize any tanker that specialized in smuggling petroleum products outside the country. The bomb carriers, they were on duty operating when my, my officers come going to them. As you can see, these are their equipment. You see the generator, the, the can they are using, even the pipes. What they do, they have severe uh, a pipe where they siphon the payment, payments, as a petroleum motor speed payments. Somewhere there's a, there's a, 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 a tanker waiting somewhere. The officers of the command on information intercepted a tanker while in the process of transloading 10,000 liters into sacks for export along the nation's borderline. Nobody can do this country better for us. It's we that can write the history of this country. And as, as, as I will tell you, all your also custom officers are here to make the management, my CGC, proud. On sighting the customs, the smugglers took to their heels and left the vehicles, generating pumps and pipes behind. The customs area controller said the customs will investigate and find out the owners of the trucks and vehicles left behind. He warned them against smuggling of petroleum products within and outside the country. The Federal Operation in Zone B has intercepted goods worth over 300 million naira from smugglers operating in that aspect of the country. The controller also said that the unit also caught over 75 various seizures within one month of operation. It speaks more on the number of the seizures. The controller in charge of FOU Zone B said that the unit intercepted various kinds of goods worth over 300 million naira from smugglers. According to him, the unit intercepted cannabis, 10 sacks of foreign gunpowder, and 1,177 cartons of foreign tomato paste. It is uh, one source of uh, explosive formation. If this product is allowed to circulate and go to the wrong hand, it can aid in the production of explosive that, is, that will be meant for destruction of human lives. Uh, these bandits... They may, they, may, they may graduate to be producing explosive. So it's, it's a thing of joy that you have got this uh, explosive and you hand it over to the right agency to continue investigation on how and where this thing comes from. Other items to case include 664 bags of foreign rice, 228 cartons of spaghetti, second-hand clothing, 
and 30 units of used vehicles. He attributed the success recorded to the effective performance, intelligence sharing, and cooperation from other patriotic members of the public. 664 bags of foreign farboy rice. This is what we have been getting every day. Despite the change of style by the smugglers, despite the change of concealment method, my unit in Airport Use B, Kaduna here, we are getting it every day. There is no style that you will employ that my officers will not uncover. We have 229 cartons of foreign spaghetti and macaroni. We have 137 belts of foreign second-hand clothing. We have 99 cartons of foreign genie milk. We have 88 cartons of foreign ever soap. We have 30 units of vehicles. Out of 15 of these uh, vehicles are means of com uh, conveyance. They used the opportunity to warn importers and agents to desist from smuggling activities. The controller warned that anyone caught will face the wrath of the law. Just before the end of this week edition of the program Custom Support, we brought you a report where seizures were made in some commands in the country. For me, Egesemi Edinye, thanks for watching.